Hi guys! Good morning! It's another beautiful day in our neighborhood and we decided to go for a walk because it's too far off to go for riding so for this morning we're gonna go walk in the canal I'm walking with my little chi I don't know if you guys can see him where are you Sab? where's Sabina? where is Sabina? where are you Sab? there she is my little chi say hi baby Ready to go walk more? Huh? Well, she got no choice, but she has to walk with me. So, here we are. Just for a little walk in the canal. We have a big canal here where everybody gets water. There is the farmer's canal. I don't know, did you guys see that? Probably not. There is the canal. There. Water's almost gone. So. This is our neighborhood. Again. Oops. Sorry guys, I'm not good at this yet. I'm gonna put you guys a big nice view. It's all really pretty. Yeah. Right Saba. There is a I think that's for feed for the cow. They're getting ready for that. Okay. Hmm. It's a little cold. That's why I'm bundled up. I mean, not too bad when you're walking, but it could still get really cold. Anyway, I'll put it that way. Okay. This is a very beautiful valley. It's called it's called the Valley of Plenty. This used to be a farm ground where apples and cherries grow. But as time goes by, it has changed a lot. Now they're growing food for the cows. Maybe the cow business is doing good. I don't know. And what better way to go for a walk is right by the canal. So whoever wants to go for a walk, message me and I will be here as long as I have to walk around here. I will take you. They have really good trails for walking. You could go behind those hills. They have really good trails there overlooking the valley. I mean. If my husband is here, I would be going with him, but it's just me. I'm a little too wahua. So, it's not happening today. I love walking, it makes me feel good. Especially if I walk like this, the air is really fresh, crisp, and not too cold, not too hot. It's perfect. And then the views. You can see everything. It's really beautiful. 
fall weather is considered to be one of the most beautiful weather because it's a perfect one. It's hunting season, so uh, not a lot of birds. Used to be there's a lot of birds out here, but for some reason the birds know it's hunting season. It always happens. But yesterday, we went up in the mountains, we didn't see any deer. But as soon as we hit the highway, we saw deers. We even saw a buck. So they know where the safe place is. The safe place is the one close by to people's places. Because they can't shoot them. And the canal, the water is like almost gone. They're draining it. That means no more water for the winter. It's just gonna be all rocks and sand. Dirt. And then right, the, right in front of us is like a cornfield. I don't know what they're doing with it. Probably for the cows. Cow feed. <coughs> this is a old tree right here. Old trees. I like it here too. In the summer you could rest here with the bridge. Lay down, whatever. You can even have a picnic. I don't know. We just loved it here. I wish that I could be here for a 12 dead day. I die or I will be able to walk because it's easier to get out in places like this than just living in the city. Like, they're already getting the farm ready for the spring. Cleaned it. But oh, there's some more corn over there. But right there. That's corn still haven't been by harvest. But <laughs> That's the highway back there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a highway. So this one here I like it. Their grass is already green. Ready for the springtime. I used to come here and hunt. But the place has changed a lot. You can't just go hunting there anymore. People don't want hunters. Because a lot of them, they shoot those things for the water for the farm. So, you'll have to ask permission to go hunting underground, which is fine. But some people don't like hunters at all. But... Oh well, I guess it's not for everyone. Look at that big bird over there. Ooh, what is that, Sab? Is that a crow flying? Wonder if he smelled you, Sab? He must have smelled my little dog. He wants to eat my dog. Yeah. Sabha. Poor thing. The bird will eat you. See her? She's getting tired. Are you tired yet? Huh? Are you tired? Huh? Yeah. She doesn't like that she had a leash. She's not used to that. 
but I want to protect her because she's like to chase big dogs if she says big dogs she could be annoying but okay 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 <laughs> Walking is one of the best exercise. So, this is what we do. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk in the light. It's the best exercise. <laughs> yeah. Right. Where is the huge sprinkler I walk whenever I can it's the most affordable thing that you could do it doesn't cost a lot you just have to get up and go although it's tiresome and it takes a lot of dedication but anyway you gotta walk some grandma told me that you have to keep going 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 go When I live in the Philippines, I was assigned to a very remote area and every day I have to go walk, you know, like eight miles and then to come home, it's even more than that sometimes because there's no car or motorcycle and I have to hurry up because I'm always scared because I'm just alone in the road and it's getting dark. So here, I don't have to worry about anything if it's just me, you know. I trust that nobody would do something stupid, but you just have to wish that nothing happens bad. Let's go walk, people! Walk, walk, walk. <laughs> so, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe and support me, please. I would love to hear from you and say what you want me. Or suggest what should I do um, we do a lot of different things and you know so you can comment below and by the way I changed my last the last word on my name because people are having a hard time are reading it so I had to cut it short it's called adventures of the stills so if you ever run into it, that's me. Like, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much, everyone. Your support means a lot to me. Even though I don't know you halfway around the world or wherever you are, I would love to say thank you. And till next time.